Hey guys, sorry I didn't manage to do this in like two days. I got caught up in schoolwork and tried to find a better plot so that you all would enjoy it. There isn't too much action on this part. This series would probably contain about hardly four or five parts. I just wanted to say thank you for 3k subscribers you all are honestly so amazing. Disclaimer before starting, this video contains mention of some mental illnesses, cuss words, and suicidal thoughts. Your viewer discretion is advised. This video is brought to you guys by beautifulhalo.com. Are you all anim merch deprived? Cause I am. Since a bitch is so desperate for them to be alive but can't do anything about it. Maybe it's just for the better to collect merch. Beautifulhalo.com is a website where you can buy a collection of anim merch of your favorite show. Use code MEME for an extra 5% discount for orders above $49 and extra 10% discount for orders over $100. Link is in my description. I don't think I managed to relieve the anger that resided inside of me. I felt a pang in my heart as another rock was smashed into the ground with my bleeding hands. I felt guilty for leaving him alone at his room, but that's just because I wanted him to realize that being pathetic for someone isn't worth getting their validation. What would even happen if Bakugo found out? Try to like Deku? I opened my phone again, checking if I missed any calls. Kirishima was about to come over to comfort me anytime soon. I wasn't near the UA dorms because I felt like I couldn't face everyone if they saw me like this. I liked to keep my composure, I don't think showing my anger in front of everyone would be something I prefer. Private messages between Kirishima and Todoroki. God, where are you? You're not in your old man's house either. Let me come to you. Come on Todoroki you don't have to deal with this on your own. I'm near a cliff. What? Where? What are you doing there? I don't know, the feeling of having a risk to die if I jump calms me down. I swear. What cliff? You remember the training camp where Deku fought to save Kota? Yeah that's where I am right now. Why do you have to be so far? Don't ask me Kiri, you clearly know my predicament and feelings. Are you bringing other people? Yes, Achako, Ida and Tsuayu are here. Hmm, alright then. Okay, I'll meet you there. The clock struck 6pm, Todoroki was sitting down calmly at the view as he took a whiff of fresh air. His legs were still, silently thinking about what would happen. He thinks what he's doing is a little petty for his age, but it can't be helped. I'm still complaining about the fact that you're this far away from the dorm. Good. That's what you're gonna say after a three hour trip. God Todoroki you're kind of pissing me off today. I never told you to come did I? You insisted. Kirishima shrugs his shoulders as he let out a scoff. After clearly showing his disinterest, he proceeds to sit down beside Todoroki. He looks at his side profile, noticing the sadness and anger screaming inside of him. Just so you know, I'm not the only one that's pissed off. Whining sounds came from behind from Achako, Ida, and Tsuayu. They finally arrived. That took you guys a pretty long time. Well don't mind us, blame Mr. Todoroki here for picking such a far place from the camp. I really didn't want to get through this but I heard it was serious so as class rep. Stop Ida I don't want to hear them right now. Well perhaps, sorry Tsuayu. But what is this weirdly sad tension going around between the both of you? Is everything alright? I mean why are we the only one called out? Just because you were the ones available in the dorm right now. And that I know Deku are pretty close to the both of you, Kirishima points to Achako and Ida. Izuku. What about him? Okay who wants to take the cat out of the bag? I'd rather not say anything if that's okay Kiri. Fine by me. Please just get ready for what you're about to hear. What could be so bad? And I'm ready every time. Kiro, I have quite a bad feeling about this. Is someone in trouble? Horizontal ellipsis. So, Izuku is suffering from Hanahaki disease. Faint silence surrounded them, they finally understood the depressing suspense between the both of them. I I don't know what to say. I feel like I've failed him as a friend. I can't believe I didn't know about this. He never showed any symptoms, it's, no he can't. Possibly. Eurerica's eyes turned a little teary as she bowed her head down. She went down on her knees covering her face with them. Tiny whimpers escaped from her mouth. You can't be serious. 
Oh, believe me, I wish I wasn't. But that's okay, right? It's gonna be fine. He's gonna live. He's going to take the surgery. Stop it, Ida. You're not helping me process this very well. Why are you guys so worried? Everyone notices that Ida wanted to lighten up the situation by looking at the bright side. Though he said those things with such a sarcastic and saddened tone. He realized Deku's decision, just by looking from their grim faces. Tsuayu can't help but cry a little bit, even if she wasn't as close to Deku, she still saw him as someone good to her, she respected him. She was mad because of him being too selfless this time. Now that you all have your pathetic little cries out, I guess you would understand why I picked this place. I don't like losing my composure in front of a lot of people. God why are we all just crying about this instead of thinking of something? Stop it all of you. Stop trying to act tough and manly just because you need to carry. We all know you're just as sad as we are. I am you know I am. I just don't see the point of crying over spilt milk. If we want to help him we have to convince him somehow. I don't know what's right at this point. Respect his decision to die for someone who barely gives a flying fuck about him. Or literally force the shit out of him and not consider his feelings to make him do the surgery. I don't want both that's what I thought about too. But isn't it technically suicide? It's almost like we're letting it slide even after knowing his fucked up condition. That's a fair point. But we need to decide on something soon. How long has it been this way? Five weeks. How long does he have left till? I would predict three months. Until then. I don't know what's gonna happen. But you know, before thinking so bad about things. Are you sure you guys know everything? What do you mean leader? I mean, I don't know if it's possible, what if Bakugo actually liked Midoriya? What do you mean? That doesn't even make any sense. Wouldn't Izuku stop hurting then? If Bakugo liked him back? Ida you have a point. I honestly have some theories but I can't confirm if it's something that's accurate. Just like what if, what if he's hurting because Bakugo hurts his feelings for being in denial of things. Can you explain even more? It's just here okay, when someone isn't getting treated properly when they get sick even if the medicine is right there, they're not going to heal. Right? Horizontal ellipsis. Yeah there might be a possibility. That's a good way to say it. So what you're saying is that Bakugo isn't treating Midoriya properly enough causing him to think that he doesn't like him back? This makes Deku's mental health worse. Yeah. A possible trigger. Does it get worse if the one you like shows more disinterest to you? We don't know too much about it. All we know is that you can heal it before your time limit but you'll lose memories of the one you love. Then there must be more to it. Those two things can't be the only conditions. Ensure we can figure something out. Do doctors know more about this? Maybe it would help if we'd ask someone who's more experienced. True, that's a great idea. What doctor specializes in this kind of disease though? There has to be a specific genre for it that falls in the medical world. I would say psychology and maybe for the petals inside the lungs pulmonology. My brain is kind of hurting right now but that doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's find a psychiatrist and pneumologist to help us. Everyone laughs at Kirishima's attempt to say the word correctly. Pulmonologist Kiri. At the hospital. So I heard you all are here for a consultation? Why are there five of you? Are you all sick? Excuse me doctor. To answer your question, yes we're here for a consultation and no we all aren't sick. Hmm, I see, what kind of consulting do you all apparently need? We just have some questions for the Hanahaki disease. We might be wondering if there are certain conditions that might make the patient's condition worse. Like being in denial of things. Does it worsen it? Well, the Hanahaki disease usually just occurs because of the victim's bad mental health causing them to have a petal buildup in their lungs. I guess you can say the worse they feel about their love interest not being able to reciprocate their feelings, it can honestly worsen their condition. If the patient isn't given enough support and guidance, they might start to develop some sort of depression symptoms which can then technically lead to suicidal thoughts. They all nodded in silence as they thought about Deku's current condition. Eureka looked into Todoroki's side who seems to be having the hardest time controlling his emotions. So basically, if we're able to just get the victim back into a good mental condition, they would have more time to survive. 
You can say that, but gradually their immune system will weaken if the surgery isn't done. Well unless the victim's love interest is requited of course. Is there anything else you would like to ask? Yes, I have one more question. What if the victim's love interest is actually in love with them? But they choose to treat the victim poorly to hide their own emotions making the victim's self-esteem low? To be frank with you, I've never came to that conclusion. That's a pretty bizarre question. But if you want to fit that in a logical statement based on what I've said, yes I think it can happen. It's almost like getting sick but not taking medicine even if it's right next to you. That's what your Erica said. I see, so basically right now everything is up to the victim's mental health I assume? Yes you're correct. But before anything gets bad, it's better for the victim to enter therapy to reduce the signs of depression. God this is so much to take in my brain is about to explode. So it is possible huh? For someone to like you back but you're not healed because they're being in denial of their own feelings. They treat them like they mean nothing and this concludes to why a patient's condition can worsen. Yes and if you don't mind, is there anyone of your knowing who's sick? Yeah, my best friend. He fell in love with his other best friend and apparently I found out when that bastard ditched their hangout for a date with a girl. That's really not manly of Bacabro. Such a dick. Ahem, a chaco such profanities aren't allowed in here. God. I'm so sorry, it just came out like that. It's alright, I understand your situation, and the best thing you can do right now is just to be there for him. We will, and I promise that. Yes all of us. We want to save him. There's still a chance. Thank you so much for watching, please leave your suggestions in the comments. Subscribe and like if it's not too much.